The first Exynos processor with AMD GPU has been benchmarked and it beat the Apple A14 Bionic. Samsung's next wireless earbuds, the Galaxy Buds 2, has been leaked, revealing the design, features, specs, and price. And there are reports that Samsung's 200 megapixel camera sensor will first debut on a Xiaomi phone. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get more tech videos. Samsung started the megapixel race in 2018 with its 48 and 64 megapixel sensors. And in 2019, it launched a whopping 108 megapixel sensor. And Xiaomi was the first to use this sensor on one of its smartphones. We've previously heard that Samsung was working on a 200 megapixel ISO cell camera sensor. And according to a new report, Xiaomi could be the first company to use this sensor just like with the 108 megapixel sensor. According to Chinese tipster Digital Chat Station, Xiaomi is working on a high end smartphone with 200 megapixel camera sensor. And it's most likely the same sensor Samsung has been working on for months. The sensor will feature 16 in 1 binning technology to convert 200 megapixel images to 12.5 megapixel images. It could also offer lossless zoom from 1x to 4x by cropping and multi-frame processing. And we can also expect 8K video recording and 4K at 120 frames per second. Also in the news, the price of the Galaxy Buds 2 has been revealed. The Buds 2 is similar to the Galaxy Buds Pro, but has a matte finish instead of glossy paint. The case is all white on the outside, but on the inside it comes in either black, green, purple or white. And thanks to the guys at 91 Mobiles, we now know the Galaxy Buds 2 will be priced anywhere between $149 and $169, which is similar to the price of the Galaxy Buds Plus when it launched last year. The Galaxy Buds 2 is also expected not to feature active noise cancellation, which is quite a letdown because that should be a standard at this point, especially from a company like Samsung. It's gonna have some other features like automatic rear detection, capacitive touch controls, AKG audio tuning, transparency mode, and wireless charging. We already know that Samsung has been working with AMD to bring its Radeon GPU to its next flagship Exynos processor. AMD themselves confirmed at Computex 2021 that the new Exynos and AMD GPU will get high-end gaming features like ray tracing and variable shading as seen on the PS5 and Xbox Series X, which is gonna greatly improve the graphics rendering of high-end mobile games and also deliver an overall better gaming performance. And it's been confirmed that it's gonna be on next year's flagship, the Galaxy S22 series. It was also rumored that the GPU could surpass the performance of Apple's A14 Bionic, which is quite an impressive feat because no Android GPU has been able to beat Apple's. Anyway, we now have an idea of how the GPU is going to perform, thanks to the first real benchmark appearing online. Ice Universe tweeted that Samsung was currently testing an Exynos chipset with the AMD Radeon GPU and the tests were being run on an older CPU architecture, the Cortex-A77 from 2019. The test was being run on the 3D Mark graphics benchmarking app and the Exynos processor with the AMD GPU seems to have scored 8,134 points in the wildlife test and it maintained an average frame rate of 50 frames per second. For comparison, the iPhone 12 Pro Max with A14 Bionic usually scores around 7,442 points with an average frame rate of 40 frames per second, while the Galaxy S21 Ultra with the Exynos 2100 usually scores around 5,130 points with a frame rate of 30 frames per second. So this early test with the older CPU has around a 50% increase over the Exynos 2100. So the Exynos 2200 could offer even better graphics performance as it'll most likely use ARM's latest Cortex-X2 and Cortex-A710 CPU cores which are much faster than the Cortex-A77. Ice Universe also shared an updated score that's even higher than the previous one with the same Cortex-A77 CPU and we're gonna get more of these as we get closer to the launch. So definitely subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future video on the topic. That's all for me in this video. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.